Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to check in with Ferris State Volleyball, joined by head coach Tia Branda Wilhelm. And coach, first of all, welcome back to the show. Thanks. Good to be here again. I know, uh, kind of nice for you uh, to be back at home this past weekend. No travel. Uh, only yeah. the second and third home matches of the season. I know. Like for it was the first weekend we didn't travel, so I told the players we were just going to go get on the bus just to uh, get off it and feel comfortable again. But it was really nice to be home. Just really nice to, uh, you know, to just have that kind of flow a little bit. Uh, you know, it was a good break for the, for the athletes, for sure. They needed that weekend. I know, obviously, uh, we wait for the new Bulldog Arena to kind of get finished. Uh, how different has it been, uh, you know, playing in Wink Arena? Obviously, you've played a few times there in the past, but uh, getting that everyday practice uh, in that facility. Yeah, um, I just have to say, like, you know, working with uh, our basketball coaches, Kurt and Andy, they're just, it, it's, you know, we're kind of barging into their space for the year, and um, they're just, they're fabulous to work with. and. You know, all of us getting our schedules, you know, wrapped around each other is fine. I think our team, it doesn't really matter. We're kind of flexible. Like, just put us anywhere. We'll, you know, try to pass the ball, serve the ball. You know, we're, we're a pretty adaptable team. So, you know, that doesn't really matter that we're practicing or playing in a different arena. As we go to the highlights, uh, taking on Northern Michigan uh, here on, on Friday night. And uh, obviously, you'd seen them once before this season and one of the top teams uh, in the conference yeah, uh, here early sure. on. Northern's a really good team. They've, you know, they've won a lot of games. And, um, you know, we and we played them two weeks ago, so it's kind of a different thing that you, you know, we're playing them that second round so quickly. Obviously, uh, here in the opening set, one of those sets that was kind of back and forth, uh, very close, uh, ends up going 26-24 in your favor, but a, a tight first set. Yeah, very tight. Um, I think, uh, you know, we were talking before about how a lot of the games were really tight, but it's the kind of match that you're just, you know, really into the moment, and you, you you're not as. Uh, as tied to the score, you're just trying to, you know, win that moment and then move on to the next one. Obviously, uh, all three of these uh, first three sets uh, very close, and uh, a player two here or there really uh, could make the difference in the outcome. Yeah, for sure. And and I felt like, you know, we were a little bit errors. You know, we had a few errors in our serve and pass game early on. We tightened that up a little bit, which I thought made it, you know, a little bit better for us later in the match. Obviously, I take the two to nothing lead, but uh, they come back here uh, a strong performance uh, in the third, uh, and made some key plays uh, here, especially late in the set to pull this one out. Yeah, they did. Um, you know, and that's Northern. They they feel really confident in those close games. Um, that you know, that after 20 points, um, they feel really confident. So, you know, we we were able to come out ahead a little bit. They came out ahead in that one. Obviously, uh, as you get ready to go to the, the fourth set here, uh, you really took control in the in the fourth set and. Maybe talk about what uh, you guys did better in that, that last set to really uh, kind of seal the match. Um, I think our team just, you know, like we just play each point and, and we're always making little changes and little adjustments and trying to get a little, you know, tighten up our game plan. And, you know, I, th I think that's one of the things we talked about is just keep, you know, doing the things that we're supposed to be doing, make the little changes that we need to. Um, and I thought that was a, you know, a, a part of the thing as the, as the Northern match went on is that we got a little bit cleaner in the way that we were doing our game plan, you know, sending the hitters and, you know, lining up our blocks, things like that. You know, start the weekend off with a 3-1 win, uh, but you had to come back on Saturday and take it on the other uh, team from the Upper Peninsula yeah. uh, on the far side, uh, Michigan Tech. And these two programs both have been a uh, long time uh, tough opponents uh, here in the GLIAC. Yeah, long time, like my, you know, all 30 years that I've been here almost. So. Um, yeah, um, and we, again, we just played Tech two weeks ago, so it was a little bit of a, a it's just a little bit different to play them so close. You kind of know what each other's going to do, and you know what the game plan's going to be, and it, and it hasn't changed that much at that point in the season. So, so it was really interesting to, you know, to have to turn around and do that pretty close. Obviously, they got off to a great start, won this yeah. uh, first set. Maybe talk about what uh, they did well in this, this opening set. Um, I think they forced us into a lot of uncomfortable situations, and you know, we made some errors and we didn't, you know, we didn't quite execute what we wanted to. Um, but more than anything, I thought they made us really uncomfortable in the serve and pass game. Obviously, uh, you got a young team, but maybe talk about uh, how they've kind of, you know, progressed here over the season and, and keep getting better and better each and every day. You know, that's what you want for every team, right? I know I say it all the time, like, let, oh, we're just that team that's just trying to get a little bit better every day. And um, for this team, that, I mean, that's obviously true. We're just trying to get a little bit better every day. and. You just don't know what each day will bring, and so we try to get into that game and do the best that we can, and and not have to. With this team, we we don't want to play in a way that we feel like we have to play perfect. So we want to be really good at playing bad volleyball. So that's one of the things that we focus on a lot is, you know, even if we're not serving well or not passing well, not hitting well, we want to be able to, you know, 
do other things with the game so that we can play, still, you know, do the things and be effective and, and come out with points. Obviously, we've seen uh, each and every match kind of this season. Uh, it, sometimes it's going to be somebody different in terms of uh, kind of leading you statistically. Uh, nice to have uh, a lot of different players capable of doing that. Yeah, we've seen that, um, you know, different players like, you know, you see both of the outsides have had nights when they're really good, the right side. And, and I feel like our middles are starting to become a little bit more a part of the game too, which is really nice to see. Took uh, the two to one lead in the match and then able to close it out uh, here in the fourth set. And nice to uh, really kind of uh, get that fourth set and not make this one go to, to five oh, sets. Yeah, I mean, you never want to go to five. You want to you try to win that in four when you can, for sure. How nice was it to finish off this home weekend uh, with with back to back victories as you get ready to go on the road here for the next couple weekends? Yeah, I think you know, I always say it, but we're just, any win you can get, we're really grateful for it. And um, it's, you know, it's a tough conference. It's a tough season. And, you know, we just try to take each game as we can. And the fact that we got a couple wins was really nice. I mean, we we don't expect them ever. We just try to do our best in the moment and see what happens. Obviously, this week, uh, you got an early week uh, match here against Northwood as we're taping this uh, here early in the week. But then uh, back into conference plays, you travel to Purdue Northwest and then Grand Valley State coming up on Saturday. Yeah, so these are two teams we haven't seen in the conference, Purdue Northwest and Grand Valley. Um, and we play everybody twice this year, which is a little bit different, but we haven't seen them at all and played some teams twice already. So that'll be a little interesting, you know, just to kind of see somebody that, um, you know, we, don't, we haven't seen. And so it's kind of a new scout and everything. Obviously, uh, this week, uh, a couple conference matches at the end of the week, but then next week you travel to the, the Midwest yeah. region crossover. Uh, how important is that event uh, as you take on some schools from some other, some other conferences in the region? Yeah, I think it's, it's a really big thing. It's a big, it's a big deal for the whole conference that you know, we go in there and try to do well. I think there's a lot of parity in our region right now. Um, the top teams from all three conferences are really good. So I think the play that you'll see, that interplay of those top teams will be you know, a big part of what happens at the end of the year and who gets to go to the NCAAs. And it's astounding to me to think that it's already here because that's, you know, a little bit past midway through the season and here we are already getting, you know, talking about the crossover and getting ready for that. Obviously, uh, you hit uh, right where I was going next, uh, yeah. just having a, a month or so left here in the regular season and each and every match important, not only at the conference, but uh, the regional implications. Yeah, and for us, um, you know, we're just, we, uh, we're truly that team that we're not looking ahead at anything. We just, you know, we just want to try to, you know, position ourselves well that we have a chance to make something into the postseason. So it's just one game at a time and do the best we can in that in that day. And, you know, if we're practicing, we just try to get a little better at practice. And if we're playing a game, we try to, you know, implement a few things that we learned in practice. Well, Coach, thanks for the time. Thanks. Congrats on the two wins. Best of luck uh, with the three matches coming up this week. Thank you. That'll do it for Ferris Sports Update. Reminder, you can follow all the action and get all the results and information online at ferrostatebulldogs.com. Have a great week.